She's feisty. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. And she's strong. I mean, she was stronger than we were. She's um, tough. Molly's our fourth, and she was born with Tetralogy of Fallot. Tetralogy means um, there's a few things wrong with her heart. That The gist of it is the, the blood does not go to her lungs properly. After she was born, Dr. Bailey did an ultrasound of the heart. He came over, he met with us, and he was like, you won't believe this. I looked at him and I said, is she sick? He said, no, she is not sick. Her pump is broken. We will fix the pump and she will be, she'll be healthy. We're already pretty laid back. And then we had three, so it's like, oh, this one's gonna be just like the rest. You don't expect that for the fourth because here she was so perfect and you know, there was nothing we could do to change it. It was very hard to have to break the news to our kids. So we just told them from the get-go that Molly was born with a broken heart, but we were gonna fix it. They thought her heart was putting enough blood into her lungs to get older. And um, she was gonna have to have surgery. At the time, we thought it would be in six months. We had no idea it would be in less than two weeks. We ended up in the emergency room at Lafayette General. Our cardiologist with Ochsner, uh, Dr. Lindell, came meet us and said immediately, we need to get her to Ochsner, she needs to have surgery soon. And then we were flown to New Orleans where we then met Dr. Peeler, who was her surgeon. Dr. Peeler performed both of Molly's surgeries in New Orleans. You just picture it to be like big, like he's gone in and he's working on something big, but her heart was like the size of a walnut. I think the other part is the, uh, the recovery when they come out. It's a baby this size with 22s coming out, you know? And then you slowly see them start taking things away as she recovers. And so that's progress. And you know, you see it because you, it's amazing what they do, amazing. You know, when I was at Ochsner, like, it was a sense of security being there. The CICU was, amazing like I, I, the staff there and everyone knew who she was and she was safe there it, it changed a lot when the Oshner specialist in with heart babies took over they knew who she was before she got there you, you know they knew her situation they, they knew her from when she was born we just we're so thankful God was so good to us and we look at Molly now and it's it's hard to believe where she started and where she is now because you look at her and she's absolutely perfect and she's completely healthy.